And this episode of Come Town is brought to you by Rice Aroni, the San Francisco treat. Rice Aroni, uh, it's uh, a treat from San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> what else can we say? They got a great mobile app. Uh, they have a really good, yeah, Easy bad to play use. win. Okay, what if <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> Rice Aroni doing, <laughs> doing podcast ads? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, download the Rice Cerrone app at home and watch. You put it's this app's great. It's you take a video of the pot boiling and it'll it uses software to tell you when the water is boiling. <laughs> That's good to add the Rice Cerrone. That's perfect. And how does you know? Watch, you take a video, water starts boiling, there's a trolley sound that plays. Mm-hmm. Choo, choo. You put in the pasta, and then the sound of a man having sex with another man, <laughs> yeah, hence San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Uh, you hear that part, and that's that's when you know that's that San Francisco treat, baby. <laughs> and it's only with this the Rice Aroni app, mm-hmm. the mixture of lube and cum, well, and ass juice. This is the real premium episode Santorum. for the weekend. I, we decided to uh, go ahead and upload a live show to really just weed out the people that uh, the cowards, the cowards, the people that love complaining. Because mm-hmm. um, you know what, the, uh, we're done with. Uh, all with of the, you. Yeah, with most most of you. Any any <laughs> of the, any of the complainy guys, you can suck a fat suck cock. my hard ass. You dick. can fuck right off. Mm-hmm. Like we my will upload live shows or not balls. upload live shows, and we'll do both until all of you have fucked off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then for those of you that were smart enough to stay, you're rewarded. You're rewarded with yes. for your silence and your obedience. With this yes. beautiful <laughs> nectar of the gods. Anyways, where were we? So rice cerrone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Faggot risotto. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think risotto could get gayer, but guess yeah. what, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, fucking. We got, we got. Boy, they, what did they take that risotto? Took a little trip down to San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, put it in Uncle Jesse's ass and That's then right. shit it into Uncle Joey's mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how you get it. Mm-hmm. A rice aroni. That's original yeah. recipe. And yeah, and then fucking Joey barfs it all over Danny's face. Yep. That's and pretty hot. When, yeah, when all the, the cum and the risotto mixed together and it's smeared all over Bob Saget's face. Mm-hmm. And he goes, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> what was Michelle's line on that show? Uh, I'm, I'm the, the baby. baby. Gotta, gotta love, love me. me. Oh, wait, wait, we thought of that at the same yeah. time. Uh, no, it was... Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't do it. No, that's Stephen. That's, Bart. that's Stephen Merchant. <laughs> did, I, did I do that? Did Stephen I do that? <laughs> <Bart>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, no, that she had one. Yeah. I forget. Did it, she? Yeah. yeah. I don't think she did. No, because Uncle Jesse w- or Uncle Joey was cut it out. Cut it out, of course. And then, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. And he had that little weird gopher. Yeah, no, puppet. she's. Yeah, Michelle would say something like "too cool" or something. Oh but, yeah, you know. cool dude. Yeah, I do believe. That I think the, she said "cool the, dude." The corresponding hand motion for "cut it out" was the same as the MC Hammer "too legit to quit." Was yeah. it? I think so. I, I don't. I don't think the was two was ever in a scissor. Mm-hmm. I think he just kept the two open, but I think it was it was disturbingly similar. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Remember the episode where um, Stephanie goes into Uncle Joey's room and he's beating off the pictures of Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yeah. These drawings that he's done of Mickey fucking Minnie? Yeah, right. of course I remember and that. she's like, um, Joey, I was just wondering if you're coming downstairs for... Di- Joey? Oh, S- uh, Stephanie, I, uh... <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, da, 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 get out the fuck out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear him having phone sex with himself as different characters? <laughs> oh, darling, playing back, nice cock. Playing, yeah, playing back. Playing back a recording he did of Donald Duck sucking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Is Coulier doing like a... That's not Dave, it's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. To, yeah. Joey like, never got pussy. Never. <laughs> never, yeah, yeah. dude. Dude, never he's definitely Jesse gay. Was, Jesse was slamming. Jesse was definitely time. cheating and yeah. getting pussy. His wife in the show was Fire. Fine. Mm-hmm. She was like a, a newscaster or something bitch. with yeah. Bob Saget. She was like his co-host or something. Oh, really? Is that right? Family affair? I think. It really seems like the adults on that show were written by a four-year-old. <laughs> like, none of them seem like... Yeah. It doesn't make sense why an adult yeah, Uncle Jesse's be. job was wearing a leather jacket. Uh, yeah, right. Elvis. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I love rock and roll. <laughs> like, the kind they play on the tiny jukebox at the Silver Diner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, dude. That was my Elvis phase, though, dude. Yeah. Oh, did you get it from the Greek thing? 
We maybe like, maybe, Stamos, maybe it was like, all kind of together. You're like, you're he's right. a cool Greek guy, and he likes Elvis, so mm-hmm. maybe I should like Elvis. My, too. I would just, I used to just be like, thank you, thank you very much. That mm-hmm. was like my, that was like my, I would get as a big a laugh yeah. as a four year old. Suck I would me. do that. Suck me uh, very dick. Suck me. <laughs> suck my, suck my very uh, dick. Suck, uh, suck me. <laughs> suck my very dick. <laughs> <laughs> suck my very dick. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. right. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> suck me. Suck my very dick. <laughs> That's uh, Elvis. Mm-hmm. Elvis, the horny Elvis. Mm-hmm. That's a new character for I the like show. That, That's good. Yeah. I've been working on too. Mm-hmm. Carlos, okay. who loves Best Buy. Okay. Hey, what's up? My name is Carlos. I love two things: saying what's up to my moms and going to Best Buy. <laughs> you know, I love going to Best Buy for them deals on electronics. That sounds like the, the Uber driver you had that loved Playboy Radio. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Playboy autistic Radio. brother. Yeah, they're the same guy. You know. <laughs> yeah, I love <laughs> Carlos and I love Best Buy. No, what was what was the Playboy Radio? Dean, guy? dude. Dean, Dean that's yeah. right. It's like, so it's like not yeah, a I actually man. I got the opportunity to work for for Playboy for Playboy Radio. <laughs> Playboy Radio. Yeah, yeah, that guy rocked. Yeah, he was great. Oh fuck! God damn, I just got back from New Orleans. Yeah. Um, how was that? Rules, dude. Yeah, there's food, dude. Yeah, your you, boy you went buck food? wild on. You ate food? I would. Yeah. yeah. Oysters. I had so po many boys? oysters. Mm. Oyster po' boys. I had double po' boys. I lo- remember that gas station. Oh, I also want to. I want to look. I was separated from my boys for a week, and I had a killer riff I earlier. I missed you guys. I had a killer riff earlier this week. Hit me with it. I've tried to run past numerous people. If somebody brings up to me, the Mrs. Doubtfire, there's a scene where like Robin Williams turns his hat sideways and he's like being a cool dad and mm-hmm, it's like just uh-huh. like, you know, like a middle aged white guy's impression yeah, yeah, of a yeah. black like a rap guy. Yeah. yeah. And I was saying well, this is a sequel to Mrs. Doubtfire called Mr. Doubtfather. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's Robin Williams in blackface pretending to be black to get out of having to raise his kid. Nah, that's <laughs> true. That is a legally sound thinks, argument. Because he thinks yeah. legally black guys <laughs> right, yeah, don't right. have to be in their children's Ooh. lives. And then I get to go on Maury. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it'll go yeah. dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he goes, yeah, these kids aren't mine. Tanisha, you were trifling ass bitch. But doing, doing that, that weird, hey, soul brother. <laughs> yeah. that, this that, ain't my <laughs> this yeah, ain't my yeah. little boy. And these children ain't mine. <laughs> you know, like it's you a <laughs> real job tucker uh, thinking these uh, my yeah. children. <laughs> What's up, Slick Willie? <laughs> you know, like, like, oh, <laughs> that, with, white men that have never met a black person. <laughs> hey, it's Dak Daddy Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that kind of just Billy in, Crystal black yeah, guy. <laughs> pure black, dude. Like just the yeah. grease paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoe polish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hilarious. Good morning, being gay. <laughs> we out here in Hanoi, ready to suck a big fat cock. <laughs> it's the Army Air Force, fully uninhibited. <laughs> Meet me in the showers, gentlemen. I'm ready to suck your cocks. <laughs> That is uh, good morning, being gay is good this. morning. <laughs> right. It's the story of a private in the Army Air Corps during the <laughs> Vietnam War who entertained his fellow troops by broadcasting the latest hits from America and also sucking their dicks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Most of them didn't care for the music very <laughs> yeah, much, yeah, but yeah. they did line up around the corner, good around the block to get their cops. Morning, <laughs> being gay. <laughs> mm, damn, that'd be a fun movie. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. I think it's time for a reboot. Yeah. Enough about all this war. Uh huh. Let's go. Let's look at Vietnam from the perspective of a gay man who just <laughs> loved having gay <laughs> sex there. You know? Yeah, it's Vietnam 1995. Yeah. <laughs> Robin Williams is the host of Lady Boy Radio. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, being gay. We got some real cool tunes coming out for anybody that's 12 years old and dressed like a lady. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude looks like a lady. Wow, transphobic. Was that, that song was in Mrs. Outfire. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, a little too on the nose, if you ask me. I yeah. think it's a little, a little I, just, uh, I love going go through the Robin Williams oeuvre. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll riff out a little... Different <laughs> different ways he can be gay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. It's flubber for being gay. Flubber. Flubber, yeah. Flubber. It's a man trying to make his make cum in his own basement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, trying to make uh, <laughs> yeah, pa- his own pause <laughs> juice. 
<laughs> from scratch. It's extra gay. Yeah. The flubber, you know how the flubber yeah, like yeah. kind of animates? They Maurice, the little flubber starts sucking each other's I've been doing experiments dicks. in the basement with Paz <laughs> juice and it's come alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to introduce uh-huh. it to the children. <laughs> yeah, the way flubber flies around and bounces off of people and messes things up is an analogy for Greenwich Village in 1982. What happens to a gay, when a gay guy moves when into a neighborhood? AIDS, the HIV virus oh, is flying yeah, around yeah. messing everything up. Yeah, That's true, recklessly. Yeah. Damn, I remember seeing Flubber in theaters and being like, I want to jump. I want to be able to dunk. Because he uses it to dunk. Oh, yeah, yeah he does use remember. it to dunk. Damn, yeah, I wish I was capable of moving physically. <laughs> no, I was very <laughs> athletic as a child and still am, mm-hmm. despite my numerous uh, injuries, I will be making a full recovery. Stop, you're moving good lines. again. Yeah, my foot hurts, but I am walking. We're gonna get you going by Japan. Oh yeah, well, you got to get your outfits ready, man. That's what I'm. I've been preparing for a month. Yeah, where can we buy kimonos? We just have. We have I'm to wear kimonos do, uh, everywhere, school, right? Yeah, like kind of a schoolgirl kind of look, like mm. that girl from Kill Bill. That's yeah, with the chain. I'm, a, I'm gonna be in in the Kill Bill uniform. Yeah, that's that. Probably be pretty because cool. that's how they know to respect. What me. if we go there and Sav is just swarmed, <laughs> like people taking pictures? Yeah, I'm a celebrity in Japan. Yeah, um, I think it would be funny just to do a show there and, and just completely bomb. Mm. We should go. Yeah, we should book a show <laughs> Japanese like a audience. Japanese dinner theater or something. Yeah, yeah. I, had, <laughs> like, <laughs> I had to read part of Crazy Rich Asians to do Abby and Karen's podcast. Uh-huh. Now, nice. I go, now I want to go book. over there and beat up some of those rich it's Asians. It's a book, right? It's a book, yeah. Is I'm it? so happy for rich Asians. Yeah, it's well, about They've time. had it so hard. It's about time. <laughs> no, I, I did read Asians. it. I didn't, it doesn't really feel like a identity thing. But that's how it's sold, right? No, uh, Is it? The movie the movie sold for sure. that way. It's like, it's like this finally is a win for repre- Asians. Oh, yeah. Yeah. people live in Singapore? Because they're like yeah, Singaporeans. People that are completely like Anglophile, you know, like right, of course, yeah, like yeah, they've also been, like the, the British th- came and turned them all into billionaires, right, and they also like own <laughs> Damn, probably be awesome. slave factories too, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they make oh, cell yeah. phones. I don't know. <laughs> let me let me tell you this right now. I know absolutely nothing about the economy of Singapore, but I'm assuming all of those rich people are slave owning. One hundred percent. You yeah. can't. They have spit. some kind of slaves, and they hate black people. Do they? Decided. Yeah, I think no, they I do. think they like. I, them. No, I think they do. They think but they're Michael. No, they all think they're Michael support. Jordan. The book does open with like a scene where uh, mm-hmm. they're in like a hotel, and the concierge won't give them a room because they're Chinese, and so they buy the hotel. And That's pretty the cool. Movie. Owner of the hotel comes in, and he's like, "Oh, Mister, you know, Dick Face, you're fired. You meet your new, or well, you know, meet your new boss, Mrs. Ding Dong, or whatever the fuck." Yeah. <laughs> and then Ding Dong, Ding Dong. <laughs> and then Ding Dong fires him. That that must that's a cool move. I respect that. Yeah. Even though yeah. I hate the rich, that's a rapper kind of move. Mm-hmm. I know? would love to be rich. I'll buy your house. Yeah, yeah. Buy your house, turn it into a fucking place where you just make fucking muffins. How about shit? crazy rich Nanans? And it's about <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh, so I love coming to Singapore. <laughs> the nicest thing about Singapore is uh, you can never have too much gay sex in Singapore. <laughs> 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 Cruz and Dan Island. <laughs> yeah. Cruz and Dan. You yeah. never. Uh, yeah. As opposed to a lot of other places in the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> something about the geography. Yeah, I live culture. in. Uh, I live in Chelsea. The thing I like about Chelsea is the bathrooms are so large. Uh-huh. <laughs> Makes me feel like a Samsung Galaxy S8. <laughs> Went yeah. off in my ass. Went or? off in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> really makes me feel like uh, Dominic Strauss Kahn. <laughs> <laughs> he also, he also, all yeah. these cruising guys love yeah. Dominic Strauss. Yeah, you know who I met recently is that uh, that Nanan guy. <laughs> Pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's in the bathroom. Shitty comic, but great at sucking dick. <laughs> no, I love fucking him. <laughs> yeah, a guy I uh, have a lot of respect for is uh, J- comedian Joe List. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit about myself. I'm uh, half Indian, half Japanese, 100% gay. (laughs) That means I uh, take my shoes off before I put curry in my ass. (laughs) I buy my sushi at 7 Eleven. And I also buy lube for a man to fuck me in the <laughs> ass with from there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cruising Dan crushing in front of a thousand non-gay people. 
<laughs> love San Francisco. Love coming here for the uh, tech scene. I also love the bathroom scene here. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are worried about trans uh, trans women using the women's bathroom and exposing their penis to children. Uh, I'm also against that. Just because I want them in the men's bathroom, exposing their penis to me. <laughs> that's, oh, that's you a know, good bit, actually, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that from Dan. Uh, the less, the less. The more penises I can see, <laughs> the better. <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Cruising Dan. <laughs> Cruising Dan. Wish I could do a Tom Myers impression. Cruising Tom. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what Tom even sounds like. I like Haver de Grace. Haver de Grace is a nice place. The <laughs> uh, thing I like most about Haver de Grace <laughs> is you can, uh, <laughs> you can have as much gay sex as you want. <laughs> What I love most is uh, you can have gay sex here. <laughs> uh, I think that's cool about having gay sex. <laughs> I like to call it having a gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can never have enough gay s- <laughs> sex during the Republican primaries. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. No, I think we found mm-hmm. the core element of this what makes good this good stuff, show. man. Yeah, this is talking about how much you love a place because you can have gay <laughs> sex there. Mm. <laughs> the voice of, of comedians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I uh, spent a lot of time in New Orleans. <laughs> Grew up in New Orleans. New Orleans is an interesting place because uh, you can't really have gay sex there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing Norman. I'm doing list too yeah, much. Yeah, it's bleeding into list. But you know what? They probably talk similar. They they spend so much they time do. The, together. They do. Yeah, Mark's just a little higher. I Here's think. Here's Joe. Here's Mark. Yep. Yeah, Joe, Mark. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty good. Gay sex. Kidding. <laughs> there you go. So Dominic Strauss Kahn, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I like that Dominic Strauss Kahn is yeah. your anchor for Joe. <laughs> That's what gets you back into Joe. Well, it is a good word for him because mm-hmm. his 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 like the staccato way he jumps through syllables mm-hmm. yeah. is evident in like uh, Dominic. Mm-hmm. Dominic. Dominic yeah, yeah. Strauss Kahn. Yeah. Feel like and Dominic. Does, yeah. Dominic. Yeah. Dominic Strauss Kahn. Then, yeah. You, know, you get the inflection yeah, yeah. on the last. <laughs> Yeah. I just think it's just such a good, re- it's such a good pull, yeah. like as a reference. It's oh, it like is a funny reference. It's automatically a funny reference yeah, because yeah. it's like, it will. Ne- there's not. You could never write a joke where the punchline is, "I feel like Dominic Strauss <laughs> <laughs> and have it be funny. It's like one of those. There's no. There's there's not a single setup in the world where yeah. that would be a good joke <laughs> because the reference is outdated, uh-huh. and also like the the like I guess the. It's never to Fo- come the, like, back. The phonemic investment uh-huh. in saying Dominic Strauss Kahn mm-hmm. makes it automatically unfunny. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like too many names there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's we haven't even gotten into the fact that he is just a disgraced rapist. <laughs> 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 yeah, a guy that raped a Senegalese house. Yeah, yeah. And then it's also <laughs> the perfect amount of time because I think that happened like eight years ago or something. No, nah, it was no, like was four or five years ago. Was it? Yeah, it was like 2000. 14. <coughs> I thought it was, I thought it was, uh, whatever. But hey, Dominic, yeah. maybe we should put him on I the mean, people forgot Supreme about that court, like a week huh? later. Yeah. Yeah. That, huh? Yeah. There you go, dude. Brett Kavanaugh. Yeah. Brett How about Kevin. Brett Kavanaugh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, that guy yes. just looks like a bitch, dude. That's yeah. my take on him. Yeah. yeah. He's got that doughy ass fucked up. Yeah. Face. They said that he's a, he's a big shiny. Nats fan. He looks like one of those just like dildos that goes to Nats <laughs> like games. the Nats. Yeah. yeah. Just guys from Arlington that go to fucking Nats games. He seems like his skin is Arlington like sucks. scaly Arlington and sucks. Arlington scaly is the worst place in the yeah. world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Fuck Arlington. Arlington is Arlington is like a fun place for people that are incapable of actually relaxing. Oh no, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, no, we had a pretty good li- night last night. Uh, me and Steven went out wearing uh-huh. the same exact clothes we wore to work, <laughs> <laughs> and conti- we kept our shirts tucked we in tucked the entire them. time. Yeah, we kept our <laughs> IDs from work on our belt loops. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, and then we had uh, a judicious amount of beers each. Uh-huh. Um, oh yeah, guys bragging about how much beer they drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what Arlington is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking yeah. It's uh, dudes. Yeah, they have like uh, what do people you call that it? Like, like earnestly seek out and enjoy going to th- Irish theme bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Just like a fucking Irish pub right. and like a Anyone fake that's like slante. Right. What was that? What's yes? <laughs> <laughs> <And then, laughs> yeah, just chug a Guinness. <laughs> yeah. Just like a fake like Gaelic word. Yeah, yeah. no, it's every Irish bar is either slantia, fado, tiernanog, uh-huh. re ra, re ra. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. But what was Shouts that out, one? Kurt. What was that one in Arlington across from the Draft House? Like Peter P. J. Brennan's. P. J. Brennan's, mm-hmm. which is it's like now. Irish in name only. Yeah, remember we would go in. They were just like playing right. hip hop. Yeah, it was all, yeah, like samba and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. reggaeton night. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> yeah, Irish bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was not a single Irish element <laughs> to that fucking place. Yeah, the best was uh, Ned Devines and Sterling. Uh-huh. You ever go there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never been there. Ned Devines and Sterling was like you'd go in. It was in a strip mall. You'd go in and there'd be like, there was like, you had to go downstairs to get to like the first bar area, and which mm-hmm. was pretty big in its own right. And then you go downstairs again, and it's this massive, it like opens way the fuck up. And you're like three stories underground. And it's this massive bar because I guess it was a venue. Oh, wow. And they had like shit in the back, but then like table seating that like hooked around the sides and then like a main stage that they'd do shows on sometimes and mm-hmm. like a side stage. But then the walls were all like an Irish village <laughs> for some reason. But then again, same thing because it's fucking Northern Virginia. So yeah. it's like nothing but like Hispanic people to <laughs> right, go there. Right, 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 right. You know, right. For, for, for reggaeton night. Yeah. yeah, that's the only funny part of Arlington is when it's just like a bunch of like. Little ass Guatemalan dudes. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, there's there's really good food around there. They in Arlington, like, not in Arlington, in like Falls Church and shit. There's good ass Korean food in. Uh, where the fuck was it? I w- used to drive down from from Baltimore. Are to there go a to ton of Vietnamese people in no, like it's Northern Korean, Virginia? Bro, is it Korean people? It's so I good. didn't really have Korean food that was good until I came here. I mean, I had Korean food here and there. Yeah, but. <coughs> Well, yeah. Korean food is real popular now too. Yeah, it wasn't popular for a long time. I I discovered that shit in college and it was love at mo- first motherfucking sight. Shouts out to Honey Pig. It down and down on fucking. What's the Route Korean 40. chicken place by in DC? Like the DC area? Um, it's it it's is like fire. It it's is, a fried chicken place. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's it's a chain and it's here too now. Bonchon. Bonchon. Oh, yeah, I that think double I, that place is dope. I don't know if I went there. Double yeah, fried double fries. Extra crisp. You're fucked after no, that. No, what's yeah, the, what's yeah, the yeah. place that's just on the end of, like, 33rd, by, but, like, the end of K-Town on 33rd? Oh, it's on the know. northern side of the In street. In New York? Yeah, it's called, like, Don... Don Boo or Dong Boo or Ding Dong or <laughs> yeah, something like that. Is that that place where it's like a like a cafeteria style? No, no, Dong that's Soup. Egypt. Dong Soup. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. Maybe I it's Dong Soup. <laughs> Dong you think Soup? it's Dong Soup? I mean, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not ruling it out. <laughs> I'll, I'll Google Dong yeah, Soup yeah. right now, and it'll be like nine different restaurants. It's probably the fucking president of South Korea's name. No way to verify that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Speaking of uh, men who have been falsely accused, uh, I read the whole Soon Yi article. Of course you did. And they dropped retard like four or five times in the article. That was, by the way, that Pretty was the funniest dope. part of Norm Macdonald getting in trouble for whatever. Is in the apology? In the apology. Said it's Down like, syndrome. you'd have to be someone with Down <laughs> syndrome <laughs> not to feel sorry for victims. Dude, Dude, he is our guy. He's a champion. He is our guy. He's a fucking champion. He's the best stand up in the world. Once the smoke clears from all of this shit and it's okay to rape girls. Girls again. <laughs> <laughs> they should build a statue for Norm Macdonald. Well, he didn't rape anyone. I know he didn't rape anyone, but he's actually that, like you. What? He's like anti horny. Of course, but he's like that. That that. Uh, nah, he's horny. The, he's just ashamed of it, like Nick. No, the uh, to do that an apology is masterful. Uh, it really oh, is. Yeah, yeah. Because you know he knows exactly. I, what I'm yeah, not he sure knows what he's doing. I he think he's kind of 
r- removed enough from society. No, I had a no, long no, no, conversation no. with my friend Max about this, but yeah. Well, if you had yeah. a conversation yeah. with oh, Max. Yeah, we realize. don't have to talk about it. I didn't realize Max. Max, yeah, yeah, yeah. Max weighed in. Yeah, we yeah. can talk to Max about <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> <laughs> we bring Max on the pod. This motherfucker said like he literally talked to Norm. <laughs> like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, we already had a long time. Yeah. Me and no, Max. We talked about it. Me and my landlord already figured this out. Me and my me and my landlord. No, his mom is my landlord. Um, anyway, well, at least you guys got to the bottom of it. No, no, we talked, but we randomly talked about it for forty minutes, and he's like, "Oh, that's so calculated." Like Norm knows that people that's going to piss people off, and it's his fans are going to think it's hilarious. And but and it did piss people off, and his fans did think it was hilarious. Vis a vis me, yeah, and Stavros, he's think the it's best. Hilarious. Yeah, he's. The I mean, best. to throw I'm, that in I'm, his I'm, apologies. That's my new word: Down syndrome. That's my <laughs> new word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. What an apology! <laughs> Unbelievable. And then he had a third apology. <laughs> yeah. Did he? I think he fucked up again. <laughs> that rule. Yeah. It's, he should just see how much he could fuck up. Because who gives a shit, right? Well, part of the interview, the first interview, made me think that maybe he wasn't doing bits and he is kind of removed from society. Like yeah. when he said that he doesn't know racism, he didn't know racism existed until he saw the new Sasha Baron Cohen I mean, show. I love Norm, but like, I also do okay. think he is out of touch as well. Yeah, I mean, he's in comedy clubs 250 nights a year. He's like constantly, like he's, or gambling. Also, the thing about Norm MacDonald, like I read his, uh, his book and even though it's like a fictionalized thing, it's like that motherfucker like grew up in a farm and like in... In Canada. rural yeah. ass Canada, yeah. like his life is close. His childhood is closer to like the Great Depression mm-hmm. than like living in modern society. Well, I think some of that was like hammed up for. The, I know it was, but yeah, still, yeah. I, I mean, I don't think. I mean, I don't think it's literal. But he did grow up in like his book rural so Canada in like good. the what forties, fifties. Like, how old is he? Uh... Mm-hmm. I don't know. What if it comes out too? <coughs> no, no, we, later than that. What if we find out that As people with Down syndrome actually yeah, don't 70s. have sympathy for no. the victims? Of yeah. Me too. Huh? Ooh. There's a, what? Uh, we get, you get a tape of a guy with Down syndrome that's like, actually, I think Ezra Argento and Rose McGowan deserved it. <laughs> 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 then Norm's a hero, dude. Yeah. That's what he's betting on. Yeah, he's right. betting yeah. on. <laughs> right. So Harvey Weinstein is actually innocent. <laughs> Dude, every time you do that voice, it's a diabolical genius. But I said, I'm sorry. I thought we believe in well, something called due process. <laughs> <laughs> Innocent until proven guilty. I don't mm-hmm. believe in trial by social media. You can say I'm a weetard, but until it's proven, uh, he was in born in 1959. Yeah, so he was a kid in the 70s. 60s. Because he talked about it as like a kid going 60s. to see Letterman do stand up. Yeah, like as like a as a teen, as yeah, a yeah. teenager. But like so growing that up in, had to have been in, in the sixty. But yeah, but I mean, like he's a child. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I sent it to you guys last night. But one of my favorite Woody quotes from the was, uh, "People think I was Suji's father that I raped and married my underage retarded daughter." <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and then, then and like, then it said, and those and people would be right. And yeah. then it says right after that that she cut a check for Hillary during the campaign, and Hillary <laughs> sent it back. Damn, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Bill, yeah, obviously he's you know as a Hillary's comic, like, we gotta, look, we got. I can't accept your money. Him. My husband's already a rapist. How's it gonna look getting a Jewish rapist on the mm-hmm. in the mix too? How about Puny? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Puny, Puny Previn. Wait, what did he say though? That she's not retarded. <coughs> and then she was like. Yeah, and then she was like, I guess she had a quote in 92 that was like, I'm not retarded. <laughs> and then in the article, <laughs> she's like, she's like, everyone thinks, that, no, apparently she has, she never talks publicly. Apparently she just has a normal American accent. Yeah, but, of um, course, I'm joking. But, every, but everyone thinks that because she lived in Korea until she was like 10 or something. People think she talks like that? Uh, yeah, she's I an think, adopted Asian person. Like, I think that she, to some extent, <coughs> has been like, has been like me and Stav watched some Steven Seagal TV show. Well, that was the best thing of like, all yeah. time. So it's a, he's like a <coughs> uh, 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 police. Uh, what is his name? I don't even fucking no, no, remember. No. Elijah Kane. That's right, <laughs> Elijah Kane. <laughs> and he's heading he's some Cajun, kind of <laughs> he's a Cajun police officer in Seattle. In Seattle. Now clearly, <laughs> yeah. what would happen? What happened was this was written for New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything about it was New Orleans, and then I don't know what happened. They, and they had to move it to Seattle because, yeah. like, one of the one of the like plot points is like people. <clears throat> he claims that people Who's moved to Dasha? Seattle. She's calling me? Da- Dasha, and then you have a strawberry and a rabbit and a heart. That she put that in my phone. What's hey, there's that nothing mean? wrong with she that, man. She just put emojis next to her name. That's she cute. Be Don't be cute. ashamed of that. Don't be ashamed. I didn't do it myself. I'm just saying. That's cute what that did you she did say? that. 
I don't know. She said she's cheating she on you? Say, yeah, she said she's, she's not cheating. cheating on you. She was like the extra little dick cream. She loves yeah, me. To <laughs> make your dick. <laughs> I don't know. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Is it came Adam. In? <laughs> Adam, you didn't you put got, on your you small dick cream. little <laughs> di- small dick cream all over the... My... my, my I don't know Russian dolls, whatever the fuck yeah, 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 that yeah. bitch Sting plays dolls. with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, get yeah, yeah. Get you take that fucking Dasha. Russian ass teacup. Eric, Eric Garland reported her to the FBI today. What? The Someone tweeted that they're like, if you're involved with the KGB or the Russian mob, I will hunt you down. Dasha like quote tweeted it was like, yeah, catch me if you can, bitch. And then Eric Garland was like. Uh, the guy FBI, that like insane yeah that insane yeah. guy yeah the at game FBI theory guy at F- FBI New York or something yeah yeah what yeah. does he follow her no he just saw it and he was like we gotta get it we gotta <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck was that, that guy, guy to has, begin with that guy has like men like a, was he just a writer and he just made that horrible thread he's just this guy that like snorts Adderall and then like freaks out about Bernie Sanders being a KGB agent he reminds me of that one guy that tried to like ask out a uh, Starbucks a 16 year old at Starbucks you remember that guy who yeah 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 doesn't Eric Garland kind of look like him a little bit yeah who's that guy's always talking about like how because of Damn. polymers I wish I could read the entirety of the power broker you could, it's bro. so long. I dude. would love to read the. Power I Broker. always say I'm going to do it, and then I Let's remember. Do it. I'm Let's do start a book club. Who wrote man? it? Caro. Robert Caro. Cool name. Yeah. Um, we should. We should start the three of us a book club. Let's do a book club, and man. then we can break it up. Uh, one third Stav, one third me, <laughs> one third you, yeah. and then we just give each other. Just like, the Stav, gist. what happened? To your part? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I <laughs> inedible. I didn't do my reading. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Twizzlers, but the kind you pull apart, those shits, uh, instead of the original. Because the original is bullshit. It's like, stop, the book, the book. No, I like the original, three Twinkies. first of all. <laughs> the originals are better Chinese than the Chinese food, three yeah. Twinkies, <laughs> Ben and Jerry's <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> I know how to live, baby. No, I'm gonna. I'm definitely going to turn my life around once this foot heals up, guys. Don't you worry. Suck my dick, I'm good. Although I do love being on the road. I've just been fucked up every day. Suck me. Suck me very dick. Suck, suck me, suck me, suck me very dick. Suck me very dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so funny? Because it doesn't make me sad. <laughs> it makes no sense. Suck me very dick. Yeah, the <laughs> oh, no, wait, I'm, I'm, I think it's suck my very dick. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that it? So, no, it's suck, suck, suck. <laughs> Suck me very dick. Yeah, suck yeah, me yeah, very yeah, dick. yeah, yeah. Suck me very dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the less sense something mm-hmm. makes, the better it is. Yeah, yeah. for sure. We can yeah. all agree there. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, fuck you. I'll do a book club and I'll I'll fucking wow you with my intellect and insights, motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Pick book. a book. I'll read it right now. Pick the a Sharon book. Stone autobiography. Okay. Did she really write it pussy? with her pussy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, she's so fucking hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. She showed her pussy in that movie. It really is. What so movie? So cool. Oh, uh, right. Fatal Attraction. Fatal Attraction. Attraction. Mm-hmm. How about a movie called Fatal Instinct? Uh-huh. I always confuse those two movies. Everybody does. Yeah. Literally, everybody does. I don't know why. Because the fatal it's attraction. Michael Douglas. Sound Michael Douglas is in right. Both. Basic yeah. basic instinct is to fuck. So uh-huh. you, it would be an uh-huh. instinct fatal attraction to cheat on your wife. That is true. Yeah, it's like it is a, an instinct. Whom's among your us is sort of the fatal title. attraction. I think is a much better movie. Of course. Yeah. No, Basic Instinct is a much better movie. Fatal Attraction. Basic Instinct. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Is that the one, with I still, I the, one Stone? Stone? the one with Sharon Stone? The one with Sharon Stone, Stone is much better. It's a good movie. It's a good yeah, ass yeah, movie. Yeah. The one with it's Glenn Paul Close is, yeah. is a fucking, you know, a comedy, basically. Yeah, yeah. When's the last time you watched the Robocop, the Verhoeven Robocop? It's somewhat recently. Yeah. It's yeah. sick. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I'm about to watch it. He's amazing. You man. know what I wanted to watch, but I never, I didn't. When Burt Reynolds died, I want to just watch some Burt Reynolds movies, man. Smoking, Smoking the, the Bandit, Bandit, Cop and a Half, mm-hmm. Boogie Nights. Not Boogie Nights. That's old. I wanted to see him in his prime. Yeah. I didn't want to come back. I want the actual. He was good. I didn't realize what a star he was. Like he was apparently like Huge. the biggest box office jaw for like eight years or some shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. Off, like Smokey and the Bandit. Was he in the player? That movie's like he's just in a hat driving. Yeah, yeah. like that's the whole plot <laughs> of that movie. It's like I'm wearing a hat and I'm driving and I'm um, gonna fuck side. I'm through. Ryan Shut and I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, right, listen, I'm Ryan Shut and I'm gay. <laughs> I wish I could do Burt Reynolds. <laughs> Turd Ferguson was yeah, so yeah. good. Uh, I'm Ryan Shut and I'm gay. 
I remember Norm played her. Norm played Burt Reynolds in I want to say Celebrity Jeopardy. No, no, no. My name is Earl. He like what? appeared in the show <laughs> as <laughs> Burt Reynolds, and then I think Burt Reynolds was really in it. Like was there was, he? I swear to God, some fucked That's up like sick, that happened. Dude. Yeah. I, I used to watch fucking watch show. My Name is Earl, dude. It was Jason Lee. Jason Lee. The fucking Presley. Scientologist skater. Is he Scientologist? And the, and the fat guy from Butterfly Effect. And uh, from... Also, uh, Boy Meets World. I was Boy laughing World, about yeah. imagining Philip He's Seymour Vader's Hoffman son. playing Ed Sheeran. Yeah. <laughs> like a very serious Ed Sheeran <laughs> biopic. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's... Just yeah. old as hell. <laughs> My bed sheets smell like you. <laughs> My fucking bed sheets smell like you. Please come back over. Just come back over. Have you ever seen pics of Ed Sheeran's tattoos? They're horrific. Ghastly. Terrible. You know who Paul uh or no, who were you just who did you just talk about? Paul Verhoeven? No. He just did the you just Paul did Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Uh sorry, man. My brain's fucked Paul up. Paul Seymour Phil Hoff- Philip Hoff- Seymour Hoffman would have Huffman. been a really good um uh, who's that guy? The Breitbart guy who ran Trump's Steve campaign. Bright, Steve Brandon. Steve Brandon. <laughs> yeah, Steve. Br- <laughs> Steve, Steve Bannon. Bannon. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Steve Brandon. I said that. I said that on yeah. this on this program. Did you? You're gonna, yes. be, you're gonna become fucking president. <laughs> We're gonna make you president. Because when Nick said that, all I could think of was like, for whatever he reason, he would be amazing as Bannon. Just yeah. let me be fucking Unbelievable. president. Yeah, he could, he could also do, be Trump. I wish I could do Hoffman. My friend it's just you got like, you get you at a point you were pretty close. It's some it's somewhere in there. It's something like that. Yeah, it's that's pretty close. I don't know. It's too far away. You saw the um Although I will say I've gotten much better at Steve Buscemi. Yeah, you have. I can fucking do him now. It sounds a little Giamatti. No, it doesn't fucking sound like Paul What's Giamatti. Giamatti? I just yeah, want to yeah, get my good. dick sucked <laughs> by a child. <laughs> Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Just have a child suck my dick. <laughs> Relax, <laughs> man. Let's have some wine. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Does somebody want to let this guy fuck a kid or what? <clears throat> oh, fuck, dude. So let's go around the room real quick. Woody Allen. Guilty. Innocent. Guilty. Innocent. Mm-hmm. Guilty, for Innocent. sure. Innocent. Jewishly guilty. Uh, misunderstood. Yeah. <laughs> Jazz. Jazz. How, How old was Sunyino? Jazz clarinet. Huh? So she was 21 when they, they first fucking? hooked up. Nuh-uh. These people they think were I fucked my retarded daughter. Or maybe 19. She was on a trip home from college. That's fu- that is weird. You have to admit that. Mm-hmm. They didn't start chilling according <laughs> to the article. <laughs> Bro, that's a little Until fucking she was weird. <laughs> Until she was 18. <laughs> I saw, I saw his daughter. <laughs> Credit Woody it Allen wasn't for, his daughter. for inventing on the breathing. At all? breathing it's on Andre the Previn's the daughter. Move. Yeah. Okay, Stepdaughter? He should get his, his no, star. No, it's his girlfriend's daughter. He should get his star in the okay. Walk of Fame back for that alone. <laughs> his girlfriend's daughter. What? I said he should get his star in the Walk of Fame back for that alone. Coming Who, up Woody? With, you're coming up with the breathing on the pussy through the underwear. Man. <laughs> yep. That was his move. It's a classic move. Classic move. And it, a lot of people don't give him credit for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying, try it out. <laughs> I do not think that he should get his star yeah. back for that. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be on the record. Yeah. Like, where'd you learn that? Woody Allen. <laughs> Imagine you doing that and it going over so well. And then yeah. you'd be like, where'd you pick Imagine that Imagine Woody up? Allen going down. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. be like, yeah, well, you know how Woody Allen, like, yeah. allegedly raped his three-year-old daughter or whatever. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I yes, kind of picked ma'am. it up from that. I think he's innocent, by the way, but Are I we- like... And we love you too, Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Woody Allen going down on a woman and then just starting sneezing, like just starting to sneeze all of her pussies. Like oh, I, I don't think got we, I don't think we explained yes ma'am on the show. No. Oh no. no. Yes, yes ma'am, ma'am was yes, a Yes ma'am bit. is like good boys. Like the, good big boys. I got these cousins breakfast. that are just like they're mm-hmm. they're in their thirties. And they look like they're still growing mm-hmm. at like six foot six and three hundred pounds. Yeah. You know, but they, they don't look fat. They're big. They're no, like they're hus- fat. Oh, are they? Yeah, they're husky, I guess. But you know, like basketball shorts and slides. Right, right, right. They don't know how to buy clothes that fit. Right. Well, Ooh. my brother's a, a yes, ma'am guy too. Yeah, my yeah. brother Nick. Lo- they have to love breakfast. Yeah, they love breakfast is a big thing. And they love respect. their families. They love their families. They can't wait and to they say love helping sir. their families. Right. They can't wait to say sir to grandpa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and like bring him his slippers or whatever. <laughs> well, we love you too, grandpa. Yes, sir, That's, grandpa. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am, ma'am, Grandma. We love you, Grandma. I would love more hash browns, I Grandma. I would love an extra sausage link, Grandma. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. You start every day with respect, 
<laughs> and a 15,000 calorie breakfast. <laughs> Dude, it's insane how much my little brother eats. He eats more than me. But yeah. He just fucking yes, ma'am. works out. And it's a yes, ma'am guy. Breakfast. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But the <coughs> breakfast? But the breakfast. But the <laughs> breakfast, ma'am. But the breakfast, ma'am. <laughs> but the yes, breakfast. Yes, Grandma, I would like to eat your pussy, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do yes, fuck my grandma. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I have had sex with my own fa- uh, grandmother. Uh, suck me. Suck me very dick. <laughs> suck me very dick. <laughs> Wait, I think that porn star Rocco Sofredi in that documentary said he had sex with his grandma. No, shut up. Or maybe it was just some old bitch. Wow. I don't know, I'm forgetting. So, talk about Rocco's modern life. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talk about Rocco's modern life over here. That yeah, did you guys hear about amazing. this uh, porn star Rocco Sofredi? <laughs> Apparently had sex with his own grandma. <laughs> talk about Rocco's modern life over here. You remember, it was a cartoon I would put on while I was having sex with one of the boys in the neighborhood. <laughs> A lot of people uh, start having gay sex in fourth grade, I'd say. (laughs) (laughs) Joe, do you want to fuck Rocco Mm Sofredi? Yeah, yeah, I guess I could. (laughs) Depends on uh, how nice those bathrooms in Italy are. (laughs) I know I've brought it up before, but that documentary is unbelievable. Yeah, you love that doc. He's just so passionate about pussy. I've never, I've never heard someone talk about. Was he molesting pussy more? What the fuck? I think maybe it wasn't his grandma, but I think he was an like, old lady. I had the, you know, his dick is huge. He's like, I, my dick was so hard, and he just <laughs> pulled it out, and this old lady just sucked his dick Whoa. that he left in shame, like that crying. And so, I think he said it was like one suck too. That's <laughs> awesome. But so this like guy so was literally his dick was so big he was objectified for it uh-huh. by like an old Italian bitch needed a taste of that fucking twelve year old hard just dick. Life in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Just people commuting by <laughs> Ma, the, by Mamma Ragu Mia. boat to fuck, to fuck their grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you go, you fuck your mommy, and then you fuck your mommy's mommy. How you, you making a sauce with a heart of the dick? You, you come here. You have to go in the tiny boat they to fuck your mommy. Let me suck your dick, you make the sauce. Right. <laughs> they love the mommies. Huh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The Italians, the original yes, ma'am. <laughs> Italians, that's why it's incestuous. See, the uh, the yes man boys are wholesome. They love breakfast. And they they do. have a, a genuine love for their grandparents. The mm-hmm. Italians love dinner and sauce. That's true. And mm-hmm. and and promiscuity and mm-hmm. all the darker elements. Of course, <laughs> dinner time is a very promiscuous yeah meal. Fuck that shit. It's the naughtiest meal. It's of naughtiest. All. It's incestuous. Breakfast is wholesome. Wholesome ass breakfast. Dinner. Lunch is pretty wholesome too. Lunch is all right, I guess. But it's more business also. I think breakfast, a lot of business I'd say lunches. breakfast only and then the rest of the day for chores in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. You yeah. have breakfast at 4.15 a.m. Well, there's morning. two things we love, the Padres and having breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, what kind of guy should we rebrand as? Us? You know? I don't think I could be a yes ma'am guy. I do love breakfast. But I don't respect my elders. I was enough. saying, I really want to be one of those like worn out guys from one of those recent period dramas, mm-hmm. who's like, you know, maybe working at like the the state archives in Spotlight, mm. and they're like, wait a minute, you mean people knew about this the whole time? It's like, yeah, nobody gave a shit. Right. Mm-hmm. We tried talking. You tried about to do it ten we years ago. To, we tried right. to do something ten years ago. Yeah. 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 You want to be like a librarian? Yeah, but one of the, like the burned out ones, smoking cigarettes. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, you think anybody gives An a archivist. shit about yeah. Lester yeah. from The Wire. Yeah. Yeah. Working down in the basement. Nobody gives a yeah. shit about yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although Lester got some good pussy, too. Remember that? That he got pussy. Yeah, yeah, He got, yeah. like, a stripper just was his girlfriend, <laughs> which mm. seems pretty unethical. Mm. <laughs> but good for him. That's the thing I love about oh, The right. Wire. He, like, saved a troubled woman. He was Captain Sabreho, dude. Her. Yeah. yeah, he started that fucking is a stripper. Yeah. All right, McNutty. <laughs> McNutty. <laughs> Damn, shouts out to Lester. And yeah. British black guy also. Yeah. Did you know that? String? No, no. The Lester, he was British too. Oh, really? That actor. Yeah. String. They either went West Baltimore, like yeah. straight from the hood, yeah. or they went somebody British Shakespearean actor. Somebody that's never acted before that has like lead paint poison. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> that pronounces dog Doug. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, because, like, Snoop was... Uh, Snoop ruled. But Snoop yeah, she was a real criminal. Basically she raised just... by drugs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Her parent was crack. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how you get to be gay. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good, good to be back with the boys. 
Yeah, it was for a little bit there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, especially when we said... Um, yes, ma'am. No. We got... Just, Good just morning, something being about gay. being gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just something about loving having gay sex. <laughs> yeah, Tom Myers, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Have <laughs> did gay sex. Have gay, gay sex. sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I'm laughing about it again. <laughs> <laughs> we should just go do a show and have her to grace. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> the <Hello>? ultimate disrespect. <laughs> I titled the last episode, I don't know if you guys saw it, R2 Me Too. I mm-hmm. did not. And I've, I don't know if anyone's already done that bit, but a little that's robot a good bit. that's like. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> they're like Han Solo did what to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's been he's Yippee been boop 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 mm. he fucked my little robot pussy mm. well you already did the bit that he was just saying the n-word the whole yeah, time yeah that's yeah. an old that's an that's oldie, an oldie. Yeah. the classic R2 Lando is right there <laughs> <laughs> Lando I'm so sorry it happens all the time <laughs> I'm literally the only one in space <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so funny to get mad at black people being in Star Wars. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, it's like the, the funniest thing 4chan did was like when the that new Star Wars came out and there was that black stormtrooper. Yeah. And they got like a leaked version of it and like somehow got like some news site to report that Republicans were mad that it's basically D Ray in space. <laughs> <laughs> It's always like fake quote that they made. Uh, is Four Chan still kicking? I don't know. Who knows? I think it's all on Reddit now. Mm. Isn't Four Chan all about QAnon now? Speaking of which, did you see the Jim Norton documentary? Documentary. Yeah. Well, the O and A guys have been making documentaries about everybody. They made what? Like a mean one about Ant, and then they did one about Joe Matteries. Joe Matteries. What? Yeah, I didn't watch. I didn't watch either the Ant or what the. What do you Matteries mean a docu? Like a like it's a an hour? YouTube? What do you mean? What do you mean by a documentary? Wait, they got you know like what a they got interviews and stuff, or they just like no, cut together a bunch of yeah, shit. A lot of like footage from the what show. What O and A guys? Narrated. Like on Reddit? Yeah, yeah. The oh, guys. oh, okay. All That's right. Cool. I thought you meant hour, like uh, an hour and twenty minute long documentary about Jim Norton called "The Worm Has Turned." <laughs> what the fuck? Imagine doing that with your life, yeah. <laughs> dude. It's it's really. That probably well took done. weeks. Really? Yeah, yeah. And the guy, the guy who narrated. I don't know if he's actually British or he's just like good at doing the voice. But he like. Oh, he's doing. Oh, oh. he did yeah, like yeah. a Adam Curtis. The thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really funny because like there's like all these like. That's amazing. These jokes in there, like he's, like he's talking about how like Jim like turned on Louis C.K. or whatever. Did he? And he's like. It's like, this is in stark contrast to a lot of his fellow comedians' opinions. Even fat piece of shit Robert Kelly defended those. <laughs> 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 like, the casual way. <laughs> she describes Bobby as, even fat piece of shit Robert <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> that rock. Yeah. Was Joe Matteris even on O&A? No, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is I like Joe, but I didn't realize. That's. I mean, I like barely guys. even know anything about Obi and Anthony. I yeah. mostly was like a Patrice fan. Exactly. Yeah. You, we would. Li- yeah. The clip. You listen to the YouTube clips. Right. The Patrice and yeah. I only know Bill Burr from YouTube. And some Louis. Yeah. And some Louis ones. It was like someone in the comments last last was it on Terrestrial implied radio? that I we stole Cruising Joe from Cruising Colin. <laughs> and it's like I'm sorry, I don't have like a calling fucking someone gay encyclopedia is it, is it of everything re- Anthony Cumia ever said <laughs> in my fucking head. Also, also yeah. he invented <laughs> calling someone gay yeah. as a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just calling a random comedian gay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although that is again, cruising Colin, that could be fun. Yeah. <clears throat> oh boy, can I suck your cock in this bathroom? That's my Colin. That's a great Colin. <laughs> yeah. That sounds exactly like him. <laughs> I wasn't even going to attempt it because I, I know I can't even come No, close. you could probably do it. I can't think of what he sounds like Does he like have a speech head. impediment? It's real New York. He yeah. sounds New York. Yeah, it's very New York. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah. No, he doesn't have a speech impediment. You know. But is he... You know. His words are kind of like... He runs, he runs his words together or something. I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's a... Yeah, I can't, I can't even... Cause he's I can't, a king. I can't get a full, like, clear image in my head of what his voice sounds like. So I know I can't do an impression. I mean, I'm sure if we heard it. it I don't think I can. Yeah. You could at some point, dude. I believe in you. I'm Colin Quinn. I'm gay. Yeah. I'm Colin Quinn. And I'm gay. And I'm, I'm Ryan, Ryan Shutt. Shutt. <laughs> I'm gay. And I'm also Colin Quinn. <laughs> My name's Ryan Shutt. <laughs> <laughs> the head of advertising. 
I'm gay. Oh, that sounded like uh, John Hamm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Why? I'm Ryan Shutt. Why would you be named Ryan Shutt <laughs> if you couldn't I'm put your mouth on another man's penis? <laughs> a man's dick isn't just a <laughs> cock. It's an opportunity. <laughs> something to aspire to. It's something that is inside of us all. <laughs> Putting a dick inside of you. That's the campaign. I'm Ryan Shutt, and I'm gay. <laughs> and I'm also Obama. And I'm Barack Obama, <laughs> and I'm gay. Uh, Don, are you okay? <laughs> Don, are you all right? Don? Yeah. Don. <laughs> Don. Don. He's just taking acid in his fucking room. What are memories? <laughs> are they aspirational? What do memories mean to us? Does it mean being gay with another man? <laughs> <laughs> the you pull right. Yeah. 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 You can use them to take pictures of men you've just had anonymous yeah. gay sex with. Pittsburgh doesn't make steel. They make gay men. <laughs> like Ryan Schott, who I am. <laughs> And I'm also Obama, and I'm also gay. And I'm also Barack Obama. (laughs) (laughs) A child that has yet to be born. (laughs) A child whose teen mom is somewhere being down with a swirl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny calling people gay as different guys (laughs) who are Barack Obama. Uh, what the fuck is John Hamm up to, man? I, I feel like know. he should he mm-hmm. should have been in like a big ass movie. He by was now. in Baby Driver. He does all the voiceovers for like Mercedes. Yeah, he's Benz. on everything. Yeah, he's, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I know he's caked Mercedes. up. Mercedes. It's a car you can have gay sex in. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love about a Mercedes is the amount of gay sex you can have. Inside. <laughs> <laughs> Why come to Bethlehem? What about Bethlehem? Is great. Possibly. The ability to have unlimited gay sex. <laughs> Pittsburgh, the home of gay sex. <laughs> what was that episode? He's trying to like. He's not trying to sell U.S. Steel. He's trying to sell Pennsylvania or something. I don't remember. Remember that, that one? No. no, I don't remember that. I remember that wasn't one of the cigarette guy trying to rape him or something. Or oh, he no, tried no, to no, rape no, no. He tried guy? to rape Sal. Yeah, the yeah, gay guy. Sal. Sal, the guy who just loved his mother so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's that, what being gay used to be. Just well, loving your mom. But that's what... That's <coughs> being Italian. I know. Um, so Sal was double Italian. But that's yeah. what I was saying the other day when you were talking about train guys being gay. Sal went and became a train guy after he was a like hobo? a disgraced homosexual. Yeah, yeah. He just got a bindle and got a... Yes, dude. They that's, like cut to him. Didn't happen. I swear to God, they cut to him and he's like warming his fucking shit around a fire and the implication is him and the boys are about to have gay sex. I watch Mad Men. I never really got into it. It's not... Uh, I'm not now people are going to get mad at me. It's I good. didn't think it was that good. It's good, but it feels like the kind of I thing I thought the that, first like, three seasons, you got the gist of it and it never really went anywhere. Yeah, I agree. I like the first yeah. three seasons. And it, it's I not just started Sopranos again last night. Oh, Ooh. you just watched that, dude. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll rewatch that. Um, I wish I could do. I wish I could do a fucking Gandolfini. You know, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's close. That. yeah. 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 Well, fucking Gandolfini. Yeah, yeah. What's the what the fuck is the matter with you? The fuck is a matter? The fuck is the matter with you? I gotta practice that. <laughs> yeah, damn. I'm gonna get a. I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'm gonna figure but out. But it's Gandolfini. also he does like he does an S H sound for an S. He's like yeah. dish. You know. Yeah. 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 There's calm. You said we were gonna have gay sex. Uh, no, I gotta, <laughs> I'll work on it. I got That's that's gonna go back in the workshop, and I'll come back with the we'll gay sopranos. You watch. You watch. <laughs> Dude, we're gay sopranos will yeah. happen. Tone. 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 Pull your cock out of my ass. Tone. Tone. Junior's going around town fucking all the black guys. <laughs> <laughs> These are all black guys to fuck Tone. <laughs> Tone. The fuck is the matter with you? The fuck You're lucky a man I love died today. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky a fucking man I... Did, how, where is he? Where, where is he? You're lucky a, mm, I don't know. I gotta think about it. Think about it. The fucking situation. She was a fucking horror. I can do Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot First believe... I cannot believe how much Ralph disrespected the Bing, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Killing that hoorah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, come on, man. Show some fucking respect to the Bing. Because yeah. he got obsessed that with might Gladiator be, That might become my life's work, is to be able to do a functional impression of every single character of The Sopranos. Including the women? Including the women. 
Okay. Tom. You know what your problem is, Tony? That could be any of the words. Yara. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's not Melfi. Remember when, like, Tony sort of kind of might fucked Adriana? Yeah. With yeah. A, and then they get yeah. in that accident? Yeah. Yeah. But it was weird. Yeah. He technically didn't do it, but he probably was going to, right? Yeah, he's a monster. Damn. He's a bad guy. But he's got such a cute smile. I mean, I root for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we root he's for the boss. Bad, we root for bad people. That's he's the why boss, this dude. You gotta so popular. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so people love this show. Mm-hmm. We all secretly want Woody Allen to get his star back for inventing the breathing on the pussy. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's we what do not just Nick wants to do that. <laughs> in to our, in, our, in, in every American's heart, that is not in every American's heart, they imagine <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan like, shot Bro- in uh, blackface. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Restoring Woody Allen's yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Hollywood. Today, <laughs> today we honor uh, Woody Allen for inventing <laughs> the pussy breathing over the panties move. P.S. I'm gay and I'm Ryan Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, Adam's dumbass just hit his teeth. Ryan shit my pants. <laughs> I'm Ryan shit and I'm gay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, you know I'm I'm mad that Mr. Doubtfather didn't come up on the show because I feel like that would have been a great thing to riff out and it kind of was wasted. Yeah, even even recanting or recounting it. It wasn't. It's like when you microwave fries. It ain't the same, mm, man. You know? it is. It's exactly like when you <laughs> microwave fries. It's not the same, bro. If yeah. you microwave them and then maybe toast them. Yeah, you microwave anything. It tastes like fucking shit second time around. No. M- name one thing that's better in the microwave. Uh, uh, I mean, not better, but serviceable. Yeah. It's like uh, porridge. Rice in the microwave. Day rice old rice. Bad. Damn, my, man, bad. my man's saving and reheating porridge. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had porridge in like twelve years, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, it's exactly you know what? the kind I respect of thing. that move, Sav. Chili. How about that? Chili, motherfucker. Better than the first time? No. Nah. Yes, actually, because of the flavors. Nah, actually. you got a stove. Heat, heat the chili on the stove. I mean, but it's just I, uh, as good. I think that when I make a spaghetti bolognese, the next day it's better. Yeah, when it's microwave. cold. No, in the microwave. Oh, uh, you no. It's because you know it's not better than it would be cold because the, the, the chili gets better as it ages. True. For so sure. it's that's not the microwave making it better. That's time. Yeah, but motherfucker, you know we can look at what it is and what it isn't, but it it just is better out of the microwave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn. I want to <laughs> kill myself. <laughs> I hope I die soon. <laughs> No, you're gonna live, unfortunately, dude. It's nice to, that you've gone from <laughs> you've gone from I want to kill myself to oh, I want to kill myself. Yeah, you know? just like a it pleasant. is. It is so annoying to be like because I was like so happy for a week when I could first walk, and then I was like I'm on the road. It feels awesome. And then this weekend it was fun, but I was like, oh yeah, no. Now that it's normal, I want to kill myself mm-hmm. again. Yeah. Once it just becomes life, even though, shouts out to the cum boys. We have a bunch of cum boys that are like. Uh, like in Lafayette, Louisiana. In Lafayette, that are like, um, what's the like good kind of lawyer, like public defenders? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shouts out to them. I don't want to say their boys. names because good boys. Y- you know, whatever. yes, ma'am. But uh, they also, uh, ha- I went to their house after the show <laughs> and just mm-hmm. got stoned to shit and ate pizza. Oh, cool. It's pretty tight. Yeah, they're doing something good for the world. For the world, yeah. Stony baloney. And then in motherfucking New Orleans, I just had we can, we should get some oysters, boys. We should go get oysters, oysters. dude. We always talk about getting. We got oysters. oysters last year. It was great. Yeah, oysters are good. I got some in New Orleans. They were good. But we they should were, go to Rehoboth Beach, Beach for a Beef. last summer romp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> summer's over, dude. It was Labor Day. Oh, is it? No, yeah. technically not summer's fall doesn't, fall doesn't summer. start until September 22nd. That's exactly correct. How did you yeah. know that off the top of your head? Because it's not <laughs> a hard thing to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an easy... No. Damn, how'd you know when Christmas was? No, dude, <laughs> no. The, the first day of fall is not Christmas. That's not... A, yeah, that's, that's a little, hard... That's, yeah. a, that's an interesting that's a pull. pull. It's a pull. It, right, Adam? No, no, respect on the pull. Thank you. I don't think so. Uh, when is the first day of spring? First day of spring is... April. So you know fall more. Interesting. Wait, hold on. Yeah, Nick. Likes no, it's always the, it's always die. it's always like the twenty second because like June twenty second is the beginning of summer. I think. Really? Yeah, it starts later than you think. 
Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So June, July, August, September. Are all the seasons the same length in days? Yeah. Yeah. They are. Yep. Three sixty-five isn't. Yes, an even number. Yes. Yeah. Three sixty-five. You can't divide by four, dog. Yes, man. So you're fucking lying. Yeah, but not all the days have the same. Uh, but there's months. Suck? Yeah, but the months don't have the same amount of days. Mm. <laughs> so what? Yeah, so what it doesn't that? matter if it's equally divisible by four. <laughs> Yo, we are. <laughs> 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 we are the dumbest. But it doesn't go by month. <laughs> We're the dumbest <laughs> like, motherfuckers. Like seasons don't go by month; they go by days. Dasha yeah. was listening. Oh, to oh, us oh! Like do you mean? Do you mean? Do the do the seasons have the same amount of days? The answer is no. Okay. No, but they're the same. Yeah, they're, but they're no. They're roughly three months each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. Which I was completely right about the colors, by the way. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. I don't remember what we Dasha, talked about. Dasha, when we were talking about the <laughs> colors, she just no, walked into weren't. the room and was like, "You guys are fucking." No, and retarded. then what Dasha said was wrong. I think I was Dasha right. I don't remember what I nah, said, but I was right. I said that blue and yellow were opposites. <laughs> which they're I was not. Right. Yes, they are, dude. You, you mix that. blue and yellow to get gr- green. Mm-hmm. So how are they opposites? I think what they're you on said opposite was that sides of the color wheel. White people and black people are opposites. That are, that is true. <laughs> no, no, no. The color. He didn't say the people. Let's look up. Where's the? And then he says something about the Chinese. No, we're not getting back we're into this. We're not doing colors again, man. <laughs> we're not getting back into this. This is a dark, dark hole to go down. Dude, there was. I, I, I met this kid you, this though. weekend. This kid Ian, Which one? who's uh, Biden's. No, a different Ian. Who is? I I, I kind of want to bring him on the show, but I don't want to feel like I'm exploiting him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's retarded. I wouldn't say that, but he said he, <laughs> he said he's got he's. He said he would say all this wild shit, dude. Shit, is no one listening on headphones? No, no. Are all these mics good? I I set the levels. All right. No, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah, it seems good. Adam, talk. Check. Yeah. Check. We're, we're Check. Fine. <laughs> we're doing I'm it. just wondering we're if doing it s- I was just thinking four yeah. minutes into the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Check. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so you're with this kid Ian. Oh yeah, he, he was saying just the funniest shit. <laughs> He's like we're working on a thing. He was. Working in a bathroom at one of the locations, and they he got fired or something. So he like sent an email to the production company and asked for a PA job, and they gave it to him. Mm-hmm. But you can ask him like any question, and he would just respond to it with some wild nonsense. <laughs> and uh, he's like, he's, he's like, he talks about it. He's got a girlfriend at Harvard, nice, uh, whose name is Skyler after the girl from Goodwill Hunting. And my <laughs> friend was like, "Are you good at math? Are you like Goodwill Hunting?" And he was like, "No, I'm not. I'm not really good at math, but I'm good enough to fake it." <laughs> it's like what? that's literally the one thing you that can't makes fake. No sense. <laughs> you can't fake math. It's not like looking like you're I playing mean, you guitar. Could, yeah, right. Like you want. You can fake it by it. just telling people you're good at math, yeah. and then no one asking any yeah. follow up questions because that's the least interesting right, thing right. you could say. And so I was laughing so hard at him saying that, and then he's like, I, I came back in. He's telling a story about like, yeah, in high school in team sports, I love playing team sports. We would play pranks on the other team. Like one time, we pretended I was a genius. The implication being that he's clearly not a genius. <laughs> to pretend he's yeah, a yeah, genius. Yeah. So the team was like, let's pretend Ian's a genius. <laughs> and he doesn't understand that, like, they were all just fucking with him. <laughs> so you met a retarded anyway, guy. Anyway, yeah, basically. What even is that prank? I like, a retarded guy with what a girlfriend What did he think Harvard. the prank yeah, was? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm so, I was laughing so hard from him saying that, and he goes... Uh, he goes, you want to know something cool I could do? And I go, what? And he goes, bull whips. <laughs> and I go, that what? Is- Cracking them? And he goes, I could do more than that. And then he explains <laughs> that he puts a piece of linguine in his mouth and cracks the linguine with the bull whip. And he's like, for the, oh, I don't want to say the name of it because I don't want people finding this guy. Yeah. But he shows me a video of him in a talent show. And he's like cracking linguine out of his <laughs> mouth with a bull whip. I guarantee you they cool. find him. Oh yeah. <laughs> off of that. <laughs> they found off him. of that video alone. <laughs> he's been found. Yeah. R.I.P. Ian. Beep boop boop like computer noises. <laughs> They're like downloading Ian social security <laughs> number. Uh, to yeah. Posting Ian social onto Reddit. Doxing his sister's yeah, tits. Uh, raping Ian's family <laughs> via the, the, the iCloud hacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I gotta go. I think we <coughs> gotta go, huh? Little Miss Adam has to go to her I'm tea the cup festival. The, f- the app. Adam today. has something so important yet. What are you doing? Sucking a mix. I gotta go home and do something. Pucha what, do you, what do you have to do? It's uh, it's a personal thing. It has to do with that small dick cream that you guys oh, brought up. Oh, okay. oh nice. Yeah. 
You have to rub it on your ass. Ro- Ro- Roscoe needs his <sighs> butterfingers. <laughs> Roscoe? Damn. Oh, that yeah, guy's yeah, name? yeah. My, my, your son? my illegitimate child, or Dash's illegitimate yeah, yeah. child. Dad. <laughs> Dad, mom Wait, said her friend. <laughs> Dad, mom said her and her best friend <laughs> Roscoe were going on a, a platonic <laughs> getaway <laughs> to a sex club in Germany. <laughs> They said they're going as friends to a sex club together. <laughs> so we have the whole weekend to practice basketball. <laughs> Mom is going. To, what's that? What's that horny uh, sandals resort in Jamaica? Is there a horny one? Oh, horny sandals. No, no, there's a horny one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's called. I'm uh, going to open it. Well, I'm going to become one of those fuck, like pacemaker Tommy Bahama guys and open a, a tiki bar called Horny Sandals. First of all, motherfucker, I am clearly going to be it's that guy. It's called like yeah. That's clearly my fucking retirement plan. Is <laughs> <laughs> to be just a fat as shit <laughs> with a fucking Hawaiian shirt and a horny ass bar. Horny Sandals. <laughs> a tiki bar. <laughs> In College Park, Maryland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just somewhere, nowhere near water. <laughs> like, just fucking 40 miles at yeah, least yeah. inland from yeah. any body of water. The Glen Burnie <laughs> Tiki Bar. Oh, no, yeah, I do it on waterfront in Essex. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rivera Beach. It's called Hedonism. Hedonism 2 in Negril, Jamaica. Ooh, let's go. Damn, Negril. It's only, huh? you got to be <laughs> horny to go um, there. Hey, man. Check and check. It's adults only. Oh, by the way, uh, real last through the week, R.L. Stevens for raping all those women. <laughs> R.L. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. He's some guy. Some DSA. Some fucking guy. So he's a rapist? I felt like it's our responsibility to bring a shed a light on these things. To, to some shit, rapist? To shit a light on was, these he things. Is he R.L. Really Stein's son? No, they have yes. a different last name. <laughs> 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 That's not how names work. <laughs> he's in China. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Sure. Maybe he's Chinese, Adam. You, you ever think of that? that? You Maybe R.L. Stein, Stein has a Chinese R. son R. named R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein is yeah. a Jamaican. Who's man. also a rapist or whatever. Yeah. Um, I want you to meet my son, R.L. <laughs> Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> you mean L.R.? R.L. Stein. Oh, you made that joke. I did, yeah. Wow, that's good. Goosebumps. The boy who didn't finish his math homework. <laughs> Do Chinese just... people get scared? Probably not, huh? <laughs> no. I don't know. I feel During like... the rape of Nan King, they were probably scared. No. Nope. You don't no. think so? No. Mm, all right. I realized I the other were... day the reason they call them Siamese twins yeah. is because you could not discern regular Chinese <laughs> twins from just siblings. <laughs> There's no way of knowing. <laughs> At a... So they don't have too. a word for twins when it's two people that <laughs> share <laughs> genes. It's, it's They're only, only they, attached. They have to be physically, physically attached. They're like, oh, they're twins. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, that could be literally anybody. <laughs> I'm Ryan Shutt. I'm Chinese. And I'm restoring Woody Allen's walk <laughs> star. <laughs> walk of fame star. <laughs> um, uh, all right. Well, come see us at Funny Moms on the 24th. Um, who's there? Um, we got... Connor O'Malley. Connor O'Malley. Wilfred P- Padua. I booked him. He's oh, funny. yeah, yeah. Wilfred. Yeah. Fun- Andy's roommate. He's, he's funny as shit from Seattle. Uh, well, a couple more people. Um, I will be in Chicago. Friday's already sold out, the 21st, so buy tickets to the 22nd. Two shows Saturday in Chicago at the fucking Lincoln Lodge. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Come see us in fucking Australia, guys. <laughs> uh, Sydney on the 23rd. Melbourne on the 26th. Brisbane, get, get Brisbane on the 28th. Um, and we're doing Cumfest next spring at Hedonism Two. <laughs> when are the, where in are the grill Jamaica? Do you know where they the, have a nude side and a prude side? How about Inspector Gadget? But the helicopter thing comes out of his ass. Oh, I cool. love that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where are you his going, Inspector just, Gadget? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. His cock just dangling. <laughs> just <hanging out>. <laughs> 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 I love it, dude. <laughs> um, and we are going. I don't know. Do we know the dates for Atlanta, Charlotte? All nah. Those? We should find those. Yeah. At some point, we're going to some place. In November. Here, I don't care about anything anymore. <laughs> the we only one I have on my calendar is Nashville on the 11th. All right, I'm we're going to give go ourselves a week to to announce those dates. Though, okay. So. <laughs> all right, we'll figure it so out. So sometime in the next week, we're going <laughs> to announce it on the pod. All right. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.